Ahoy, my hearties, dinky do, it's just Scotty McClue. Thursday night, nothing gets past me. Quick pop up just to say hi. Check that you're all well and that you're all right and enjoying yourselves and that you've had a good day and you're ready for a little bit of banter before you go for your tea or your evening meal or get dressed for dinner or all that sort of thing. So there you are, so dinky do. Excellent stuff, Andy Hood's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Gav Rolly Jones. And at Kirkwood, welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the World Stop broadcaster. We have lots and lots to do. Now, um, I'm going to be popping up tonight. I popped up last night, and uh, about uh, 8,000 of you joined me, which was fabulous. So thank you for that. That's fabulous. Better King Patton's watching. Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty, says Stuart Dutton. Good evening, Stuart. Graham McCulloch. All right, Scotty. All right. Right, Graham, I say, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Thursday night broadcast. My goodness me, the days are going at some rate, I can tell you. I can't believe everything just seems to be passing in a flash. It seems no time since I was 30, and here I am at 32. Amazing. So there you are, Vanessa Taylor, Dinky Doo, Jerry McGark. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Scotty McClue, just with you for a quick pop up to see what is happening with you. Gordon Drysdale and Dee Gourley, lovely to have you with us, I say. Now tonight at 10 o'clock, make sure you join me big style because we're going to start taking calls. Hi, Scotty. Uh, you made me park up the lorry for the night. Happy, happy, says Fiona Brown. Did you do, Fiona? Lovely to hear from you and happy, happy to you. And two lovely kisses back. Mwah! Fantastic. So there you are. Sharice has joined us. Excellent. Oi, oi. Nice to have you with us, Sharice. And we love your banter, my dear. My dog Boozer passed away today from kidney failure. Please pray, says Robert Peck. Um, bless him, I say. So there we are. We look after your little dog. He will be at Rainbow Bridge with my old Lord Wreath, who will play with him and welcome him and wag his tail. So there you are. Oi, oi, Scotty, says Sharice. Dee Gurley says, good evening, good evening, Dee. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now then, as I say, I did a quick pop-up on Spec last night, and uh, I think about 8,000 of you joined me. So that's fantastic. Now, we're going to do it tonight, but we're going to take some Calls tonight. Uh, get in there, Scotty. 22 and a half million. Uh, says Jerry McGurk. Excellent, wonderful stuff. Good evening, Scotty. Vanessa Taylor. Dinky do. A very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Thursday night tea time pop up. I know a lot of you don't have tea, you have supper. You have high tea. Do you remember? High tea. Do you remember everybody used to have high tea? Fantastic. RIP to the doggy, says Sharice. Absolutely, my darling. Joseph Gibbons is watching us. Come and join us, Joseph. I'm just going to do a bit of sharing, guys. Because that uh, lets people know we're on big style, excellent stuff. But uh, this is just a little pop-up just to say hi and to let you know what's happening. Oh, God calls, says Sharice. He does indeed, Sharice. So there you are. So we'll never take his name in vain. I say you're an awful one for a wee bit of blasphemy and that sort of stuff. So come on now. You're not a blasphemer. Lawrence Armour's watching Dinky Do. Welcome to Scotty McClure's Thursday night pop-up, Lawrence. We have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. It will pass in a flash like all these wonderful programs. Ned McMillan's watching Dinky Do. Somebody was asking me the other night about what the big plan is. And of course, when did you ever see live interactive television like this that you can interact with? Do you know what I mean? You get all these programs telling you the news, telling you what to do, telling you what to think, telling you how to put up a shelf, telling you how to flog some of the stuff in your attic, that sort of stuff. But it's very important. When did you last have a program that's all about you? All right, there you are, proper interactive television, all about you, dinky-doo, and uh, hosted by my good self, Scotty McClue. I am just the catalyst. This is bringing people together throughout the world. Uh, this is sentimental, dinky-doo, but sometimes it lets me share 
So there you are. No, you share, 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 share. Jerry Gallagher's watching. Gordon Roddick's with us. Bless him. I say, a top man. Now, uh, we've got calls tonight with a bit of luck. Last night we tried various things, and what I would like to try tonight is the messenger. Now, I don't want to take the messenger on this device because it interrupts the broadcast, but I thought if I have it on another device and you can all hear, it should work. So if anybody wants to be, I don't like to use the word guinea pig, you know, but if anybody wants to try out the messenger, if you're on messenger and you think, I'll give Scotty McClue a call, excuse me, I'm just sorting a bit of lighting out. You thought there was a big shadow there. So there you are. Andrew Southers watching. Southerth or Southworth? What do you like to be called, Andrew? Ben Lucas, of course, and Helena Innes. What a fabulous lady she is watching right now. Dinky do proper classical education. Our Helena. That's what we like. Uh, so there we are. Come and join me. Uh, as many of you as you like. Bring your pals. But tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. In fact, can we have a share just now? And I shall do the same at this end and just let them know that we're on. We're up there. And and it's all happening big style. Uh, I must tell you something funny. I think I've maybe done it again. Uh, let me see. Yes, there we are. Um, I couldn't get the mouse to work the other night. And I thought, what on earth wrong with this mouse? You know, sometimes the wee arrow pops up to a different side. And you think, where's the mouse? And you have to run it about a bit. Uh, a lot of you might not know what a mouse is. So there you are. Scotty, remembered the potted ha, the potted hawk. Potted heed. Absolutely, Jerry McGurk. Very, very good. There we are. Replying to Stephen Dundee Gurley. Hi, Stephen. She says people have wee conversations with their pals as well when they're watching Scotty McClue. But you can multitask. You can call me Spider Scotty, says Annette K. Kirkwood. So there we are. I first met Spider-Man on the web. Uh, you know, there you are. And the poor soul, he came to stay with me and was trapped in the bath for a week. I'll tell you. Uh, Cam's need him. Little Ian get a job. Uh, he says, I don't know what he's on about, Cam. So there we are. Rab Bruce is watching Dinky Do. Try and include stuff that everybody can enjoy in your posting. So there you are. Try and not have wee cliques and wee in chats, you know. It's nice if you all join us, I say. Uh, so the mouse. And of course, what happened was, and I actually taken the USB plug out. So there you are. So the mouse was there. There it's back. And we'll just do a bit of sharing right now. Let everybody know what's happening. Karen Mercury has joined us. Dinky do, my love. Lovely to have you with us. We enjoyed your company. Last night, I hastened to add. Sharice says, hello, Eddie. Hello, Sharice. Are you having weak conversations? Good evening, Scott. You're loving the show, says Margaret McDonald. It's good, Margaret, isn't it? It's just a nice, simple piece of quality television that everybody can understand and everybody throughout the world can join in. Good evening, says Karen Mercury. Now, come and join us at 10 o'clock tonight, guys. As I say, I'm going to try and take some calls. Thank you. It was a hoot, says Karen. Always a hoot, Karen. We never have a dull moment of Scotty McClure. We always say, dinky-doo, you miss a moment of McClure, you miss a moment of life. And we don't want to do that, do we? So there you are. And it was a hoot last night. It was an absolute scream. These uh, glasses and hat that... <laughs> <laughs> that came up completely um, random, totally by accident. There we are. I wonder if that is a French word, an accident. So there you are, wonderful stuff. Uh, something happens to your teeth. Um, Annette K. Kirkwood, Dinky Do, lovely to have you. And you've sent lots of spiders. So there you are. And of course, uh, Arachne was the weaver. So there you are, Arachne. And that's where you get arachnophobia when people get frightened of spiders you should never be frightened of a spider for goodness sake Megar Andrew you're a star Scotty so are you Megar absolutely dinky do have I said it right what a wonderful name Megar lovely lovely where is that from tell me a little bit of background so I can build up my knowledge I've only scratched the surface and I'm 32 years of age yes I had a very tough paper round 
I ask you. So there we go. Again, uh, guys, I'm going to share to uh, public. So there we are. Let everybody know that Scotty McClue is on live. Now you can always put, and if you can all do the same, it's always wonderful. It's very much appreciated. And I'll just do this again. Let everybody know what's happening. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue on Facebook Live just for you saying dinky do. I have to have a wee kick round the corner here just to see what's happening. Share to a page. Right, this is where the fun comes in because when you share to a page, you say, well, which one? I'm going to share to the Scotty McClue page, which has got, I think, about 5,600 of you watching there. I don't know if you actually know the broadcast on. So there we are. We need to link everything up. I say, what's the topic tonight, Scotty? I'll tell you later, Christopher. Do you know what I was thinking about topics, right? We can either have topics or we can decide what we talk about on the show and just go for it. So many of these so-called talk shows, which aren't really doing great business, um, they talk at their audience and say, tonight, here's what we're talking about. Now, if that was me sitting at home, I would say, Stick that off, would you? Want to see Scotty McClure, you know what I mean? Yeah, a wee bit banter and a wee bit chit-chat. So there you are. But we'll talk about that. Craig Gallagher's watching. Dinky-doo, Craig. Lovely to have you with us. I shall just put live now. Right now. Uh, can I get this right? Oh, yes. Brilliant. Live now. And do you put an exclamation mark? I think so. There we are. If Helena Innes is watching, she can advise me. If I put live now, do I put an exclamation mark? Am I exclaiming? Sorry to ask, Scott, you're looking awfully warm. Listen, don't ever be sorry. I'm roasted. Right? Two seconds. There we go. Ah, a quick mop doon with the clammy chamois. And that calms me right down, so there you are. Uh, there are a lot of bully so-called talk shows as Margaret McDonald. They are, Margaret. They, grab, they come up, they say, tonight we're discussing Brexit. And you think, put that off, would you? For goodness sake. Fed up with it to the back teeth. Let's discuss stuff that actually is important to us at the moment about life. We can't change the Brexit thing one way or or the other. So there we are. I personally think we're fed a lot of guff about it. There you are. And uh, we should just be remaining. What are good, Scotty, in between chats? Yes, absolutely. Did I bring it up? Here it's here. I have it with me. You see, I have it in what? Would you call that a tumbler? Right? That's neat. <laughs> there we are. Uh, the water's very good, my dear. That's very good water. Lovely, lovely water you have here. Mm. Good that you reminded me, because I could have done with a general sup. In fact, if everybody's having a cup of tea, if you've just come in, let's have a general sup on five. Guff is a good word, says Eddie Doby Sr. Yes, we were given a lot of duff, Jen. We were given duff guff. What about that for a good word? There you are. See, I mean, we touch of the poet in me. Off a good word of this. Marvellous. So, General Sup, five, four, three, two, one, or one, if you're watching in Glasgow, and General Sup. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. That's lush. That is. Hello, Scotty. This is Kathy Wade. Kathy, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, always remind me of where you're listening in. It's lovely to have you with us. And I know a lot of people are watching in India, Africa, Canada, America, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan, and of course, the Tierra del Fuego. After two, are we ready? One, two. What a place that is, Scotty. The Tierra del Fuego. Yas lush, says Charisse. Absolutely. South Wales, says Cafe. In Swansea, 
you're in Swansea. I remember because I don't like to get it wrong, see, and say that you might be in Cardiff when you're in Swansea, because I know you've done it all up, and it's lovely. So there we are. Lovely, I say. Uh, the Red Sea, says Sharice. You're in the Red Sea. The Red Sea around Fife. So there you go. Excellent stuff. No, Cafe is in South Wales. South Wales. Excellent and lovely to have you with us. So I say to you, yeah. Kida and Nosta. Uh, am I chuff in Swansea, says Kathy? Are you not? Where, where in chuff are you, my dear? Do tell us. You sound a bit dischuffed with me. I'm sure you'd said Swansea to me. Are you in Cardiff? So there, are you in Cardiff? Are you at the front there in the docks? Uh, Lanark. Lanark, says William Hanna. Yes. You're from Lanark, William Hanna, but Cathy's from South Wales. I'm next door to Caffa, uh, to Cardiff. I'm in Barry. So there is Barry not an island? It's called Barry Island. It's actually a peninsula, is that right? But it's called Barry Island. Have I got that right, or am I talking chuff? So there we go. The pub, says Cy Ward. He's the pub. Margaret MacDonald is in Knightswood. Very nice, very nice, Knightswood. I remember a very fine pipe band called Knightswood Juniors. So there you are. New York Hill, sisters of love. I know New York Hill very well. Lovely, lovely, and Kaluk and all the rest of it. So there you go. Port Albert, says uh, Eddie Doby Sr. You're not from there, Eddie Doby Sr. Yes, and uh, all that stuff. A good place, Barry, says William Hanna. Yes, it's called Barry Island, is it not? So there we are. Uh, Barry Island is in Barry, says Cafe Wade. Yes, absolutely, Cafe. Um, how about can I have a shout out for my beautiful fiance, Alexandra McCallum? She loves your videos, says David Robertson. David Robertson, of course you can have a shout out for your beautiful fiance, Alexandra McCallum. And we wish the two of you all the very, very best. And that comes from everyone in the universe. Dinky do. Uh, Stuart Holton's watching. Thank you, dear Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue's Tuesday, uh, sorry, Thursday. Getting confused with the days now, for goodness sake. I think I have to, have to have some more water. <laughs> Keep me quiet, you know. Ooh. James Cottis, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Charles McLaughlin's watching. I know it's tea time, but it was just to let you all know. It's by way of a warning, really, that I'll be popping up tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, right? It might even be a minute or two early, uh, as always, of course. But, <laughs> but um, I, I'll be popping up tonight because... We're work in progress, as you know. We're a massive, massive, massive talk show. We popped up last night. I think about 8,000 of you joined me. So uh, what we're going to do tonight is take some calls. Thank you very much, Scotty. You're a champion, says David Robertson. Indeed. That's a lovely word, champion, isn't it? They use that in Yorkshire a lot. So there you are. Dermot Scotty McVickers watching. Dinky Doo out in Canada there. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Top man. Uh, late, of course, Sir Sherry. Well, I might be, Sharice. You know, it's a, it's a gentleman's prerogative to be a wee bit late. Uh, my dad was a boxer, and my mother was a Jack Russell. So, said he to me, Thinia, what are you at? And uh, Ryan David Scott, yes, absolutely. I shan't comment on that. Eddie, so there we are, says Sharice. Sharice has our own wee sub show going on, you know what I mean? Scotty, would you go back on radio if offered? Says Margaret MacDonald, and a beautiful big kiss. Mwah. I think. I think if offered, but it would need to be the right place because I've made a lot of people very, very wealthy over the piece. Of course, I've never made myself wealthy apart from the fact I'm the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. So there we are. But I'm the richest man in the world and one of the luckiest people in the world. And uh, I, I, I sort of make people very, very wealthy. So it would need to be the right thing that we go back for. Uh, but uh, yes, Margaret, I think the radio, although somebody said, you're wasted on radio said, we love the television thing. I said, well, I'm not exactly an oil painting. You know, I don't exactly have the swishest coupon. And they said, no, no, but that's nothing to do with it. And I think, well, good, good. Radio Gaga, Scotty. Uh, I loved the radio show, says Karen Mercury. I know, we might get back to that, because radio, of course, theatre of the mind, and you never knew what I was up to, whereas you can spot me here, you see. Hi, Scotty, again to get a shout-out to my good friend Jenny Talia, says Rory McLeod. You 
can, Rory, you can always have a shout out on Scotty McClue, especially to Jenny Talia from Rory McLeod. Ryan David Scott, Time Lord. Now, I actually gave the BBC a call and said, what are Scotty McClue's chances of being the next Doctor Who? So I think I could do a superb job as the Doctor. Ooh. Ooh. So there we are. Uh, Scotty was the best of radio at night with many a laugh. Great memories, says Annette K. Kirkwood. Yes, but it's not all memories, Annette. <coughs> Pardon me. I think it'll come back big style, even bigger and better. John Wilson, although you'd, you'd, you'd go hard to beat Scott FM, probably the finest radio station in the country, and certainly Scotland's finest radio hour, without a shadow of doubt. Uh, you definitely need to go back to late night radio. The show was superb, young sir, says Christopher Love. Yes, I think that'll all happen, Chris. I really do. Alicia Wildman O'Connor. Hey, I'm new. Alicia, where are you from? Do let us know. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. This is the top show on the internet. So they are the greatest show on the internet. Uh, Scotty and Fat Bob, says Karen Berkey. I don't know what happened to him. Bit cheeky, that Rory McLeod, says Craig Gallagher. Oh, Craig, a wee bit of... Uh, we a bit of banter, you know. Excellent. Excuse me a second. <laughs> oh, oh, dear me. Oh, there we are. We a bit of a, a mop doon. When you get too hot, you need to have a mop doon. Uh, so, oh, God, mind his age here. Who's age, Charisse? I'm 32. I don't know about you. I often wonder that too, says Karen. Absolutely. Never, ever heard a peep. So there we are. So uh, very, very interesting. Uh, I'm from Jamaica, but I live in New York, says Alicia Wildman O'Connor. We love you on here from New York, Alicia. It's fantastic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the People's Show. It transcends all countries, all borders, all creeds, all backgrounds, everything. It's the People's Show, and you just need to be either a human being or uh, an outsider, an alien life form from another planet to watch Scotty McClue. And that's the only qualification. So there we are. It's what we called the most inclusive club in the world. Remember Effie, says Margaret McDonald's. There's a lovely lady from Jamaica living in New York watching Scotty McClue live right now with the Thursday evening pop-up dinky-doo. Come and join us tonight at 10 o'clock. Be lovely to have you with us, Alicia. I love all of you too. We love you, Alicia Wildman O'Connor. What a fabulous name. What a great lady. I can tell. I have enough experience of humanity to tell you. Well done, the Queen's Eleven getting through to the group stages, says John Wilson. Dinky you do, John? Ali Yogi, you get around, don't you, Scotty? I do indeed get around. I've probably worked on, I think I worked out about 35 radio stations and four television stations, including the BBC television and radio. What about that? And there's a lot more to come, I can tell you. Excellent stuff. GWWP, God willing, weather permitting, of course. The Queen's Nine, John, says Eddie Doby Senior. There we are, Eddie Doby Senior. We like to have somebody senior on here just to kind of adjudicate, you know. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate that, says Alicia Wildman O'Connor. We appreciate you and Dinky Doo, we say, and love to New York, the big apple out there. Oh, I think you do to the Big Apple. Which part roughly are you in? You don't have to obviously tell us exactly, but if you just tell us roughly what area you're in in New York. Are you in Queens? Are you in Manhattan? Are you in Staten Island? You know, do let us know, dinky do. Robert Softly is watching. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, everyone, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster with the Thursday evening pop-up just for you, dinky do. Scotty, the references to the Queens 11 and 9 are Rangers qualifying for the group stages of Europa 
League. So there we are. Excellent stuff. I have that now. I'm in Queens, says Alicia Wildman O'Connor. How fantastic. Love to Queens, we say. Excellent stuff. Paradise, says Sharice Allison. Yes, Queens and New York, Sharice. Paradise. Uh, New York used to be the big oyster, uh, says Eddie Doby Sr. Well, there you are. Well, Scotty McLeod's from the big lobster. Excellent. The world is my lobster, I say. Gary Frank Crossley, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McLeod. And that's the one. I'm just going to do a bit of shading, guys. Share, 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 share. One more. If you all do the same, let them know. Uh, Gary Frank Crossley, excellent. Lovely to have you with us. How's the time going? For goodness sake, we need to get a bit of quiz in tonight. You did very well. Scrabster says uh, Sharice. Excellent. Do you know Scrabster, Sharice? What a fine part of the world that is, I shall tell you. Right, there we are. Where did we get to? Um, right. Here we go. Uh, what have we got now here? How many Elizabeths reigned as Queen in Scotland before Elizabeth II. All right. The world is my oxter, says Eddie Dovey Sr. <laughs> your world might be your oxter, chum, I'll tell you. Did not heed off Scrabster until Andy Hughes told me I'm Scottish too, says Sharice. Absolutely. Hello, Scotty, says Atlanta Smith. Well, she actually says, hello, Scotties. So I don't know if Atlanta has been having a refreshment. Scotty, I mean, yes, yes, absolutely, Atlanta. And so there we are. Scrabster. Now, tell us where Scrabster is, Sharice. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Have to hurry up. Excellent stuff. Right. The quiz. Are we ready? How many Elizabeths reigned as Queen in Scotland before Elizabeth the Second? All right. How many Elizabeths reigned as Queen in Scotland before Elizabeth the Second? So there we are. Have we got that right? How many Elizabeths reigned as Queen in Scotland? So there we are. Eddie Doby Sr. says one. It's up north, says Sharice. Of course it is. Well done, Sharice. We know Scrabster. So there you are. <laughs> Whereabouts? It's next to Wick, says Fiona Brown. Absolutely. Kiss, kiss, my darling. Sharice says three. Three Elizabeths reigned as Queen in Scotland before Elizabeth II. Fev. Fev, says Sharice. Fev. Is that a five word? Fev. There's Fevy in there. Fev fingers, eh? Eh, Fev fingers, eh? Uh, Charles McLaughlin says three. McLaughlin or McLaughlin, Charles, what do you prefer? You must let me know. Uh, you can spell it with a K if you want, if you're just for phonetic uh, purposes for, for the program. Two, says Charles. There we are. He's thinking two. Rab's watching. Dinky do, Rab. Welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure with a Thursday evening pop-up saying dinky do to every single one of you. I don't know. I don't know, says Sherry's. Dunno. So we are done in. I'm done in. <laughs> oh, this is awful good water. Ooh. There we are. Scotty McClure for you. Now, make sure you join us tonight at 10 o'clock, guys. We have a bit of a commercial there for 10 o'clock tonight because we're going to take calls. Work in progress. We're moving forward with the program, right? I watched a couple of the programs last week and uh, I thought to myself, no, no, we now need to move forward. It's expansion time. And about 8,000 of you joined me last night. So that's 18,000 of you have joined me since Sunday. Excellent stuff. Just made it all. Diane Glance is watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. It's Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Excellent. Welcome. Shall I give you the answer? How many queens reigned in Scotland? How many Elizabeths? before Elizabeth the second. All right, Scotty, hope you're well, says Rab. Dinky do, Rab. I'm in the pink, as we say. Excellent stuff. Um, so water, says Atlanta. Yes, no, no, it's water. It is not neat gin or vodka. 
Uh, Scotty, you're well talented as a broadcaster, actor and writer, says Annette K. Kitwood. I thank you, Annette K. Kitwood. It's not very often I get a compliment, but I like to take the compliment because uh, it, in the sentiment that it's meant, that's the thing. So there we are. I have done a lot of broadcasting and acting and writing. I'll tell you, if you want to hear some of my writing, uh, put into YouTube, Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil, and you'll get the first chapter of my my thriller novel. Craig Gallagher says one. Alistair McClellan says one. You guys are both rang. So there you are. It's, uh, it's none. There was no Elizabeth's reigning in Scotland before Elizabeth the second. Very interesting. Yes, lovely man Scotty says Sharice. Lovely lady, you Sharice. The Reverend Jolly McClure. It's awfully good water. So have a good water. <laughs> right, what have we got here? I say three, Sharice. None. Neat. Okay, that's it. It's McLachlan. Scotty, good. Charles McLachlan. What a lovely, lovely name. Yes. Lachlan McLachlan. That's what we get. I see none, says Sharice. So there you are. Excellent stuff. That's like the story. Lachlan McLachlan was a wee boy that was playing in the garden of a house away up in the highlands. And he found an old stick of gelignite that had been used to blast the quarry. He didn't know what it was, unfortunately it didn't go off, so he flung it away and it landed on top of the outside toilet. So there you are. Anyway, the whole thing blew up, absolutely blew up, and the father opened the door and he said, Lachlan, Lachlan, your grandmother was in there. And they all, they, they headed over for the wreckage and they sort of pulled, dug away at the wreckage, pulled a wee hand out and then cleared her way in the middle and got a wee white head and then they pulled her up and she was there and she was okay, she was alive, just a wee bit shaken. And they said, are you all right, Granny? And she said, hi, son, I'm all right, but I'm very glad I didn't let that one off in the house. Oh, uh, he's roasting Rabbi. What to his jacket and hat off? So he sits there melting. I have to carry him because I've got no back to my shirt, you see. So there we are. Healings, love the healings, ye healings and ye lowlands. Just going to give myself a mop doing a swatch at the coupon, I say. Oh, oh, a dicht ur, a dicht ur with a clammy shammy. You can't even visit, it, right? So excellent stuff. They are right. Next question. What God-given gift did Moses receive at Mount Sinai? All right. What God-given gift did Moses receive at Mount Sinai? No back to your shots. <laughs> excellent. So what God-given gift did Moses receive at Mount Sinai? All right. Uh, no, back to the shot. No, no, Sharice, a swatch. No, no, he didn't receive a swatch. <laughs> oh, Sharice, buckled, buckled hen. There we are. The latest tablet, says Eddie Dovey Senior. Mm, Moses basket, says Sharice. Trevor Whistle says fire. He received fire. At Mount Sinai. Oh, that's me out of water. That's a good water. So there we are. So what did he get? Charles McLachlan says, The Ten Comments. I think your predictive text is playing up, Charles McLachlan. Try again. Nothing worse than a sweaty patch, says John Wilson. I don't know. I have never sweated, John. I glow. Scotty McClure glows. So there you are. So, um, you know. <laughs> so, horses sweat, uh, men perspire, and ladies glow. But Scotty McClure, although not a lady, and not a lady boy, uh, glows. I glow, you see. Fire wire tune, says um, a present, says Karen Mercury. It was a present. Yes, a marvellous present. So there you are. Alistair McClellan. 
The Ten Commandments, you top man. Alistair McClellan, give you a round of silent applause. That is fantastic. David Wilkie is watching Dinky Doo. You've just joined us, folks. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. This is the big one. The show right across the world. The only top global talk show in the world. Uh, he's got free tickets for nothing. <laughs> Says Rab Hill. Ten Commandments it was. I do more than glow, Scotty. I need to Google this, uh, Sharice. Oh, you, you glow in the dark, Sharice. Jeez, my screen's frozen, says Karen. No, no. I got it first, says John Wilson. Did you not see the ten comments? Oh, no, that was Charles McLachlan. Uh, what makes fowl different from other birds, says Eddie Doby Sr. I'm asking the questions. We'll get that in a minute, Eddie. So excellent stuff. Uh, while we're still on Moses, right? Scotty, what about the burning bush? Absolutely, the burning bush, the symbol of the Church of Scotland, the burning bush. Um, while we're still on Moses, who played Moses in the 1956 film, The Ten Commandments? So there we are. Yes, who actually played him? Can you remember that? So there we go, wonderful stuff. Who played Moses in the Ten Commandments? Uh, excellent stuff. J.P. McCarran's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Oh, dear, says Sharice. We're still on Moses, Sharice. Who played him in the Ten Commandments? All right. Anybody go for this one? Now, don't start Googling, guys. Try and do it off the top of your head. Bot Lancaster, says John Wilson. Not Bot Lancaster. Deuteronomy was the thing at the time, says Trevor Entwistle. Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. Where's Andy Hughes? He likes bushes, says Sharice. Uh, yes, but not the burning ones, I wouldn't have thought. So there we are. Um, Karen Mercury, Charlton Heston. Was she right? I think it was Charlton Heston as well. I'm just going to check. Yes, Charlton Heston. Wonderful, wonderful. Charlton Heston, dinky do. Alistair McClellan, thank you for that. Too much information. So there we are. Excellent stuff. What Irish politician wrote a spy novel called The Riddle of the Sands? An Irish politician wrote The Riddle of the Sands. Who was it? I wouldn't have said what Irish politician. I would have said which Irish politician. But there we are, classical education. Charlie Heston, says Trevor Entwistle. Absolutely. Sorry, I thought that was Charlie Heston telling me on me that Trevor Entwistle had uh, played Moses. But it was Trevor Entwistle telling me that Charlie Heston had played it. Jacqueline Trotter's watching Dinky Doo. A very warm welcome, my dear. Um, Eddie Doby Sr. says, Ian Paisley. No, it wasn't Ian Paisley. Um, Alistair, that's a bird, says Sharice. Uh, John Wilson, no, it wasn't. It wasn't Ian Paisley, guys. So there we are. None of these people. So there you go. And uh, which Irish politician wrote, right, the riddle of the sands? No, it wasn't Bobby Sands. No, 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 the riddle of the sands. And it wasn't Ian Pazley, 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 says Reb. Bumskin, so there we are. Bumskin Childers, no, not Bumskin, Erskine. There we are, Erskine. So there we are, Alistair McClellan, Dinky Do. Right, guys, I think it's time Scotty McClue wasn't here because you all need to go and get your tea. Sinn Féin, says Sharice. No, Sinn Féin is a party, Sharice, right? Sinn Féin's a party, it's not a person. So there you are, there's not a person called Sinn Féin. So <laughs> what are y'all like? Mo Mullum, says Rab. Andy Bell's watching Dinky Doo. Time Scott McLean wasn't here. Are you ready for the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody. As you go, I'll see you all at 10 o'clock. Goodbye, everybody. Of we don't sing. Au revoir. And a cheery oh see you all at ten o'clock tonight. We'll be taking calls. See you then. Dinky doo. Scotty McClure has left the building.